Hey guys and girls, welcome back to a, another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box as always. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Um, last video we were working on this, uh, the settings container. So basically it's a big box for all your graphic settings that we can send to and from different, different states. Now, today I thought we would actually send this to the setting state. And to do that, we need to actually make this graphic settings class public. Um, because right now it is not. It is very, very private. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to control X the whole graphic settings class. And I'm actually going to put it outside. So um, the ideal thing for me would be to actually put it here in the game thingy here, but we could still divide it up into uh, into a, a class, basically. So just go to resource files, add new item, um, source, graph, or no, class right here. Whoops, not good. Add a new class, just like that. Uh, graphics settings, virtual destructor, Okay, that is very interesting. Uh, add new item. I guess we'll just do a header file. And right in here, we're just going to paste the whole class, graphic settings. And we're going to do the whole if and def, um, if and def graphic settings h define. Uh, I could just copy that actually define that and then we'll just end the whole thing right here like this okay um, and then we're gonna do a we're gonna rename this header file I don't know where is it here and graphics settings dot H and then we're gonna add a new file CPP file we have to do this the old school way now apparently um, graph fix settings CPP and I'm gonna include STD AFX and include graphic settings H and then we have our definitions in there um, so here we go pretty much pretty much looking okay looking all right we do have our definitions in here still but all we have to do is just copy these over here um, and then we can just make sure it's like a real class. I should have done this yesterday, but or the, or the last time I, I made a video, but I didn't for some reason because I'm dumb. And then we have the variables, obviously. Everything is public, so it doesn't really matter. Save to file, load from file. Just copy these, the whole thing over to the CPP file. Uh, like this and then we'll just copy the graphic settings colon colon and just put that in front of both of these like that and then we'll remove the definitions like this put some semicolons behind these babies and you're good to go so here you go now you got your graphic settings graphic settings class uh, with definitions and all and I guess that's cool if we need to use that later and then right in here, I'm just going to include graphic settings. Or I could actually do that in main menu state. Uh, because that's where we're going to use that. Graphic settings.h. And that means that it will find it in here as well. Okay. So we can just close down game for now. Um, and then all of these are bugging out. I do, do not know why. Because they're right here. So I don't understand what happens if I define one of these and I go here. Um, yeah, they're just bugging out. It doesn't really matter. You know, it does, it's whatever. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll look at that later. Anyway, once we do that, um, we init the settings in game. And what I want to say is when I create this main menu state, I would like supported keys states the window also a graphic settings 
reference GFX settings. That's what I would like. And then we do have the window pointer, obviously. So let's open state as well. Let's say that this is something we must have. So all the way, even in state, actually we could, we could grab this graphic settings.h, put it in state here, because let's say that you need graphic settings, uh, gfx settings, when you create this state. Um, oh wait, this is the, uh, what do you call it? This is the, let me think. No, this is the state itself. Hmm. Okay, you know what? No, never mind. Don't do that. Because then we have to send it into every state. Look, so see, we're debugging stuff. We're figuring stuff out together. So, but it doesn't really matter. So, we're just going to grab the graphics settings reference here. And we're going to put that into here, the constructor. And then we're going to say GFX settings gfx settings and that means that we have to create a little reference for that here uh, graphic settings i could just do this though like that there we go so we have our own gfx settings in the main menu state so to create a main menu state you need to send in graphic settings that makes sense that is good that is very very good okay so next step next step next step setting state open up setting state and we need to do the same thing here, but it should be simple since we just did it in the H file. I'm going to put that in the constructor. Also, in the CPP file, we're going to put that in the constructor right here. Like this. And then we're just going to say GFX, um, GFX settings like this. And we actually need a GFX settings right there as well. So then that should work. And once you do that, you can now use the graphic settings and you can manipulate them and you can do whatever the hell you want to do with them. Um, so how long is this video? Seven minutes. Okay. Hmm. Update, update. So once you do that, um, we can start using it in here because we can say that there, there must be a graphics settings container uh, class object or whatever you want to call it object actually in this class um, so what happens when we press the apply button we create a new window okay we create a new window all right all right all right gfx settings all right so when we're updating it that's cool Okay. Okay, that's cool, guys and girls. Well, at least we have it here. Now we're going to have to kind of customize the setting state so we can change the... For example, here, when we change the resolution, we're going to say this graphic, graphic GFX settings dot resolution equals... Uh, this drop down list like that. So we're pretty much going to just do that. Um, and then uh, that gives the active element ID and this modes. Uh, okay. So pretty much create this is what we can do right here. So something like that, basically. And that will save the resolution in the graphics settings. And then we can set this to this GFX settings dot resolution. And then this uh, GFX settings dot, we'll just take that, dot title, dot title. And then default, of course, then we'll, we'll fix, play around with all the full screen stuff is, uh, and all that. But at least this is set up so we can send the graphics settings container to the setting state. 
And let's try this out. Didn't work. Let's just fix all the issues here. Let's see. Whoops. Uh, so what is the problem? Okay. Oh, yeah. We need to actually send it in as well. Uh, this GF, GFX settings. And then main menu state. Uh, this GFX settings. So once you do that, compile, should compile just fine, shouldn't have any problems. And we run a settings, we go change that for example, change that back, back, new game, no problems. No problems from what I can see. There you go guys and girls, now at least we send it in, we'll work with that later. Next video I promise we're going to work with the editor state, so we're going to play around with some game uh, gameplay stuff first and then we're gonna we're gonna keep working on graphic settings and stuff like that because that's really important as well to get working and it's really interesting for you uh, because when you make your game you probably want some kind of settings menu and switching all settings and stuff so uh, hopefully if you don't follow this 100% at least you see how you can bunch up all settings and send them in to the window uh, together so we'll keep working on that later I promise all right but uh, thank you for watching this video hopefully you'll watch the next one um, thanks for all the support Take care, keep working hard, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, alright? Bye-bye.